Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial and today we are going to take a look at lighting using Arnold in Maya. So let's create a simple scene first with just a sphere and a background. A very simple trick to create a background, just take a plane and select this edge, then extrude it. Select this one and bevel and create this arc. Now assign an Arnold material here and also for this sphere. Let's create a camera. Go to create and cameras then click here to set this camera what you can do is go to panels and uh, click on this look through selected and now you can set your view and you can lock this camera here Now go to Arnold and uh, render. You won't see anything because we have not added any lights. So stop this and uh, go to Arnold, go to lights and we are going to use the area lights. Create one and uh, place this here. You can go here and change your camera, set your camera here and now render. And now you can see your object is barely visible. Now what you can do is you can either increase the exposure or what you can do is simply just change the exposure back to zero and uh, uncheck this normalize. When you create an area light and keep this normalize checked, the brightness of this light does not depend on its size which is not physically accurate so if you render this and increase the size of this light you can see there is no changes but if you stop this and scale it down and uncheck this normalize and now render it so if I increase the scale of this light you can see the brightness increases with its scale So to get more physically accurate lighting, make sure you uncheck this normalize. So let's go over some basic lighting settings. Stop this and uh, here you can see this color. So you can change the color of your light. Just go here and uh, take any color you want. If I want to take this blue here, now you can see my light is changed to blue. And if you want to add more brightness in your scene, just increase the exposure. And instead of using the color, what you can do is you can use the color temperature. So if you decrease the temperature, your scene is going to be warmer. So if I turn it down to 4000, so you can see that our scene turned yellowish. And if I increase it to 9000, then you can see this blue tint in our scene. So if you're using this color temperature, then you cannot use the color for your light. And if I turn this off, then you can go back to using this color. And you can also change the shape of your light by going here and you can take this disc or this cylinder. So if I put this light on the top of this sphere and now if I render this then you can see a shadow on this ground. So if you select this light and uh, go to this cast shadow 
If you uncheck this, then there will be no shadow generated by this light. So if you want to keep shadows in your scene, make sure you check this. And you can also change the density of your shadows. If you want to make them a little smooth, then you can turn down this density. And you can also change the color of your shadows to something like this. So what if I want my light to affect only this object and not the background or any other objects. So what you have to do is you should first label your objects. So I'm going to name this as background and uh, this one is main object. Select your light and you can go to windows then relationship editors and here in the light linking select this light centric and you can see all your lights in your scene here so select this light and uh, it's going to show you which object it's going to affect so right now it's working on all these objects so if i deselect this background here and uh, try to render it again then now you can see that my background is not visible because my light is not interacting with it so that's how you can stop your light interacting with certain objects Let's stop this and uh, turn this back on and let's take a different model. So now I have this burst here and I've set up my camera. Let's try to add some lights. Now go to Arnold and uh, lights. Then we are going to use this area light again. Now we can add our key and fill lights here. But before that, I want to set up our rim light to separate our object from this background and create a light rim around the back of my object. So take this light and place this here and rotate it. Now scale it and put it here and rotate it like this now go to Arnold and uh, render let's take a render out and see how it looks so there is not much light in our scene so select this and uh, turn off the normalize and now you can see that the back of our object is now visible and you can see this light and how it's interacting with our bust and creating this rim around the back of this model. So let's change the color for this and take something like this. So the one side of the back of our bust is now visible. Let's stop this and create a duplicate of this and rotate it like this and place this one here. And now you can see we have this beautiful rim around my model. So that's how you can separate your object from the background. Now let's stop this and uh, add some key and fill light. Take another area light and uh, pull it back here. Scale it. You can go to top view and uh, rotate it like this. And place this one here. And let's take out a render. Turn off the normalize. Scale it a little bit more.
and the specular in our model is a little bit too much so let's stop this and select this and maybe let's try to keep it to 0.4 so we can add some color to our key light let's select this and uh, i want to add a little yellow or orange maybe not this much our key light is working fine let's stop this and uh, create a duplicate and place this one here and uh, rotate it and for this fill light i'm going to take a blue color and uh, I'm also going to add some exposure to my key light. And also to my rim lights. Maybe a little bit more. Let's add two and uh, change the color a little bit something like this and this one also let's add two Now to add a little bit more brightness on the top, let's stop this and go to Arnold again, take another area light and uh, put it on the top of this model here and increase the scale. And now let's try to render it, turn off the normalize and maybe exposure a little bit. Change the color a little bit to something like this. And now we have this amazing looking render using some area lights. And you can always increase the exposure and add more brightness to your scene. So if you want to add more brightness to your model, then try increasing the exposure of your key light. So basically what key light does is that it illuminate your scene and the fill light lifts the shadow, maintain contrast and balance with your key light. So make sure your fill lights exposure or intensity is a little bit lower than your key light. If you increase the intensity or exposure of your fill light then the contrast is not going to be much in your scene. So to maintain a perfectly balanced contrast make sure your key light is a little bit more intense than your fill light. So now I'm going to pause the video here and take out a final render. So our render is done and this is the final result. So we need to add some more lighting to illuminate this background here. But for now we are pretty much done. 
So that's how our render is gonna look like. You can always add more light and tweak some settings to get some different results. So I hope you liked this tutorial and if you did then you can subscribe to the channel. And you can find the link for this bust model in the description so go check that out. And thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.